Welcome to another demo. Here we have the four step gait movement prep protocol connecting our feet to our fascia. The goal here is to integrate the entire body into a stretch throughout three planes of motion starting at the feet. The first step though is to get the foot to be able to make an arch and flatten again while supporting your body weight. So keeping your weight all on one leg, pivot over in front with your other leg until the stance leg locks out and you feel your foot is in a high arch position. Reach that same side arm up. Then sweep that leg out to the side, allowing the knee to bend and buckle in slightly, flattening the foot to the floor. We're going to reach up with the other arm as we do that. Don't put any weight on the sweeping leg, stay centered over your standing leg and be able to complete these movements without bailing out. Five sweeps each leg is what I recommend. Next, we are going to work on big toe joint mobility, putting it together with a frontline backline stretch. Take a slight lunge step forward and push through the ball of your foot of the back leg into the ground. As you push through the floor, push the hips forward and swing the arms up as you raise your chest up to the ceiling. Take a step back, swing the arms down and lift the toes up as your leg extends. Pushing your hips back, you should feel a nice posterior chain stretch. Three to five swings each leg is recommended. giving our lateral line some emphasis now while incorporating some rotation as well. Take a lunge step forward and keep both heels planted on the ground. That's giving us an Achilles stretch on the back leg. Lift up the same side arm as the front leg, push the hips out to the side, making a nice crescent moon shape as you weave your hand through, getting the most out of the stretch, then come back to center. We're only going to pulse for this, so make sure that you don't rush it. Follow the steps of reaching up high first, then shift the hips, and finally the other arm goes through, eyes follow the hand, and that should give you a nice lateral line stretch, targeting the hips and adding a little rotary stretch too. Five to eight pulses each side is what I recommend. Finally, we're going to focus on getting the most out of our rotation because oftentimes that is a huge lacking component when it comes to human performance, movement, and managing our posture. Take a slight lunge step forward, keeping the heels planted still so that we get an Achilles stretch on the back leg. Shift the hips out to the side as much as you can and reach the opposite arm forward, rotating the hips into your standing leg as much as you can. You should feel a stretch in the hips as you do this. The back arm also reaches back so that we're nicely opening our chest. Keep your head and nose pointed forward and eyes looking off into the distance, coming back to center with each one. Your goal is to facilitate as much rotation as possible with each arm reach. Five to eight pulses is recommended for each side.
if you put these four together, you will have gotten some healthy, controlled movement of the entire body in all three planes of motion in an upright position mimicking the gait cycle patterns while the feet are having to do exactly what they need to be doing in function. So this is a real winner when it comes to running or movement prep. Enjoy.